Hi Taurus, this is Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Taurus, this is going to be, what are their true intentions in love? And uh, it's a general read, Taurus, so check your moon and your rising videos. And remember, with these energies, it can be switched. So let's see what we have between you and your person. And the Heaven card is here. It's about somebody who is unhappy uh, and looking for change in their life. But uh, it is about change coming. It is. I feel like it's also about somebody who could be really kind of in their heavenly mind, and what I mean by that is uh, using their intuition, maybe dreaming about people that you really love, things like that. You could be seeing ancestors in your dreams, maybe, uh, you know, loved ones, not just loved ones, but like lovers sometimes. Uh, and uh, this is a time for great manifestation. It is, although there have been problems before, messages from the heaven, mm, from the heavens, right? And relationships, you will be very blessed with some almost heavenly experiences and may find you have healing abilities through your hands or the ability to use the right words to make people feel better. You may also discover a child has special talents or is a gifted psychic. Okay, but this is, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, pay attention to your intuition for sure. You have... Reunions and family, and let's see what else we have, Taurus. You have the Seven of Wands, and uh, right here is the Devil. This could be uh, Capricorn. This is usually temptation in this deck, like major temptation. These people are bond in, in bondage as well. Mm -hmm. And the Justice card is what you want. Maybe you want Libra. Maybe you want fairness. Maybe you want to balance the scales with somebody. And this justice card also has to do with, I feel like it's new beginnings and using your intuition as well. Yeah, it's a, this is an interesting deck. Yeah, and this is kind of why I pulled this out because, uh, just because for something different. But in the past, Taurus, you were really challenged, right? The man is trying to duck all these wands, and that's what that is. You were really challenged. And currently you have the devil. Let's look at the devil and see uh, what they can say about it, right? I mean, these days, uh, you know, with what's going on, how everything is, you know, evil is good and good is evil. Uh, you know, I'm sure that, you know, the people who run, run things behind the scenes, they couldn't say enough good about the devil. Yeah, that's the kind of mind effery that we are living through and if you're not investigating or paying attention you will think it's normal or you just may be kind of confused or maybe you think it's going to pass right so let's look at the devil you guys and see what they have to say it could be a capricorn though that is one good thing about the devil right yeah for sure so let's see what we have uh but good things teach us uh teach us things i mean bad things will teach us things uh, for sure uh, that's what people need. That's how they wake up. They go, oh shit, look at what's happening. Oh God, the, my whole world's caving in. So let's see what the devil is. Uh, materialism, black magic, occult powers, dependence, slavery, like bondage, passion, like over passion. Not just, you know, when they say passion, they don't mean that you are feeling really, you know, passionate about your person. They mean like, uh, like uh, sex addictions and things like that. This is kind of what they, you know. Uh, or passion for somebody you're not even with, kind of, or, you know, like, just kind of in the wrong way. I feel like you guys do understand that, right? There is good passion and bad. And we also have wrong proportions, yeah, kind of like overindulging, right? Overcoming of own fears. That's a good one. Perception of the inner demon. Yeah, this is, I mean, maybe somebody is realizing here there are problems. Uh, this could be you. Uh, Taurus, but you could be dealing with somebody. The Knight of Swords, we're not going to use this card because it doesn't belong to this deck. No, we're not. <laughs> and uh, I just have too many decks of cards here. This is the prob problema. The challenge for you is the Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. This is sadness and grieving, even in this particular deck. It's also a new beginning, I think. I'm not kidding. This Five of Cups this is weird. Let's see what it says. It says... Uh, on a stormy, this is sorrow, return, you see, this is what I mean, the challenge, you want somebody to return to you, because the reunion card is here, <clears throat> and justice is what you want, so let's have a look, or you're hoping for it, right, yeah, I mean, Julian Assange was uh, hoping for justice, right, let's see what we got, you guys, he's somebody who just spoke the truth, right, okay, 
uh, about them, you know, these people, right? So, uh, who are running things, of course. A kind but severe woman guards the justice, uh, represented by a scale, meaning justice through knowledge of a higher order, union of opposites, balance virtue. Fairness law, selfishness. Interesting how f selfishness is seen as... Uh, this is probably in, this is in the reverse, that's what that is. You want some type of fairness. Uh, uh, maybe you just feel like you have been kind of, you know, too many injustices here. Because your challenge is sorrow or return. You want somebody to return to you, Taurus, that you feel like they were unfair with you. And the Eight of Swords is what you are doubting or fearing. Maybe you, this is two people who are like kind of like breaking up like or they live together and they just ignore each ignore each other for me it looks like you want somebody to return that you are uh in love with of course somebody from your past but they i feel like they're with somebody maybe they have a family because the family card is here so we're going to use this deck now because we're just you know we're just fickle right let's see what we got and your challenge is the queen of cups taurus and this could be the person you want or the person who I feel like your person's with somebody and they're not happy. I feel like they're not because you are doubting this is going to, this is, uh, when you're doubting this, I feel like this is like uh, two people who are almost like broken up. I feel like you are doubting that somebody's going to break up or leave somebody. Maybe because they have children, right? With the family card, the high priestess is their fear. And the queen of cups, I'm sorry, is in their challenge. I keep probably said your challenge. Uh, yours is the return and some kind of sorrow you've been dealing with, but the Queen of Cups is their challenge. I feel like, and they are fearing or doubting the High Priestess. They probably are a water sign, this this Queen of Cups. And they are questioning something, uh, and the moon is here. This is also Pisces. For me, somebody's a Pisces here. Somebody could be a Cancer or a Scorpio, but uh, twice we have three potential cards of uh, indicating Pisces. And their energy was, they were discerning, uh, they were worried about the future. That's their energy in the past. And they are doubting or fearing or confused about some change right now. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Their person is not trying with them. They're not. Uh, and what they want is the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. I feel like, you know, Taurus, uh, maybe they, I feel like they want somebody to leave you out. I feel like you are the mistress here, and you want this person to return. If you're not the mistress, you know, uh, you might not be their mistress right now. Maybe you're just their ex-girlfriend, or ex-boyfriend, or ex-husband, or something. Not, you know, because the word mistress, sometimes people get mad. They go, don't call me that, right? Right, uh, we're PC. Uh, we get easily sensitive here. <laughs> and their fear is the tower. Yeah, they think something's going to end here. So... Let's see what we have, Taurus, because I feel like you are, uh, you want somebody to return to you, and you're doubting that, I feel like you're doubting they're going to leave their own union. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have, and uh, we're going to put these cards up here, and uh, I'm going to turn this over, let's see what we have, and we're going to, we're going to start the gypsy spread and complete it in the extended. And between you both, the death card is the heart of the matter or the present situation. So, you know, you want them to end a situation. And that's why this card, the Five of Cups with the old woman, she's really sad and grieving, right? And the cups are all spilled. And there's not two standing even, like in the, you know, the typical traditional tarot. Uh, and let's see, in the past, Taurus was the hope card. This is hope for me and kind of like sadness a little bit. Somebody who's waiting, right? And uh, and they've been waiting a long time. The melancholy, this is sadness. This is a little bit unfolding. Mm -hmm. And the falseness card is the obstacle. Somebody lied in the past, I feel like. And the falseness card again in the outcome. <laughs> We're not going to take it. And the reunion card is the outcome. So, you know, it looks like this person's coming back to you, Taurus, but we're going to find out in the extended. We are, OMG, and we're also going to see how they feel about you, what's on their mind, Taurus, how they see the situation, what you don't know about them, or what they could be hiding, the issues at hand, right, and their true intentions are all super affordable, you guys. Thank you so much, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.